too. What's going on? Hey, today is gun day, fun day. Let's take a ride. YouTube. Hey, uh, so you may ask yourself, you got excuse me, I'm driving. I'm not gonna do that much talking this time. Like I did on my booster video. But anyway, you may say, why is it gun day fun day? Because today, today, I get to pick up my Galil. The kit um, that I purchased from Apex Gun Parts. Uh, love that place too. Very great customer service. Great customer service. But anyway, so the American Gunsmith Shop actually finished the bill. And that's a whole nother story. But uh, so I'm actually going up to Wisconsin, getting out of Chicago, and I'm uh, going to pick up uh, this uh, rifle. And also, once I pick it up, it will not reside in the good old city of Chicago. Thanks to my peeps down there in the beautiful state of Tennessee. Thank you. So all the rifles, long rifles, got to get out the city. You have to. That's a whole nother video. In fact, I may do a video on that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So some people may say, what is a Galil? A Galil to me is just another version of the AK-47, my favorite, favorite rifle. Um, but it's based, it came from Israel, okay? Um, and the creator of this weapon, last name was Galil. Um, I can't really pronounce his first name, so I'm not gonna try to pronounce the first name. And it is uh, chambered in a 5.56 five, by 4.5, I believe. And some people consider, well, they want to say, you know, the Galil is a better rifle than the AK-47. Some people say because of the round, you know, it's more accurate. But listen, from my own personal experience, from my own personal experience, it's the person behind the trigger. It's the person behind the trigger. So, um, you know, that's debatable. Everybody got their opinions. And you know what they say about opinions. So, anyway... I am going to uh, pick this um, Galil up and uh, we're going to check it out. And there's some other stuff. I haven't seen it. And what I'm going to try to do in the video, I'm going to put the picture that they sent me before they did the modifications to it. Oh, yeah. It has modifications. Of course. Because this is Joker TV modified. It got to be modified. So, um, I guess that's enough talking. And, um, we gon' we gonna go get this Galil. So later. An hour and 30 minutes later. We have made it to America's Gunsmith Shop. When I can't pass, like, man, this place is nice. Lunch. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. This is it. All right. Well, we we got Roy, the owner, here. <laughs> He's not supposed to be here, but he he made it a point to be here so I can so I can see my uh, yeah smile. That's called dedication. You guys might not get that. I but... just wanted to see your smiling face. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right, yeah. I don't even want to hold the camera right now. <laughs> that is nice. I hope you're happy with it. I am happy. Well, and it shoots too, right? Oh yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tested. Look it at all. this. Look at this. We tested it all, so it's ready to roll. They have the True Glow TFX like pros, but they're all fixed. But we could order you. Know, you don't have one, I'd take an order on that. Sure, yeah. 
yeah, Brett can take down your information and then just let us know, like, the rear site you want to, like, two white dots, and you want a white outline, and what do you want that site picture to look like? No clue. There's one thing to shoot accurately. What do you have for a front site? Yeah. Is it a white dot? I think it's all factory. I think it's all the original stuff. Sure. Yeah, so it's probably a white dot front site. So then, um, probably. A box. Yeah. So, yeah, probably a, uh, um, a two, two dot. Okay. I, I don't know. It was a good process. Um, it basically... It was a little bit of a learning process, but nothing okay. that we couldn't handle. Okay. Um, it's it's basically like an improved AK, and I I actually really like the gun, so uh, okay. um, I found it to be a um, very I don't know very uh, good gun, and it pretty <laughs> relatively easy to build and and okay. all that kind of stuff. So uh, so what did, what did you think about the kit? Because the, the kit came from Apex Gun Parts. Sure. Was it? You think it was a decent kit or? Yes, yes, it didn't, okay. yeah, I was able to pretty much use everything. The only part I didn't need was uh, was the auto sear. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we may want to put that, okay. Well, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine that you have it, your your receiver is not, your receiver is not built to, okay. to use it anyway, okay? Okay, So if right. you're if you're questioning extra parts, that's what the extra parts are. Okay, so you're, you're, okay. Excuse me, your receiver's not built to use it anyway, so. Uh, okay. Um, but otherwise, I don't know. It was it was everything worked well with the receiver that you provided, and and it all went together pretty well, and um, and it and it turned out really good. Okay, was this the first? Uh, it's the Galil? first Galil that I've built. Okay. Yes, you yes. do AKs. Um, or... we we don't typically build AKs, okay. um, but we can do a lot of the work on them. But a lot of the other a lot of the shop press related stuff that's required with AKs. Um, we we don't do, but this one this one is a little bit of a different. Oh, it's pattern after AK, but it's a little bit of a different animal. And and frankly, it's a whole lot more builder friendly than a standard AK. I would say, yeah, because just just based on the way that you provided a machined, um, nicely machined receiver, and and it all goes together pretty well. I mean, probably the hardest part was getting the trigger, the getting the magazine. Um, portion riveted on was the hardest okay. part that, that was that that would be the hardest part was the was the was the, the i don't know there was like six rivets to do okay um, it helps to have a proper jig and, and have a setup for it but uh yeah, so okay. but um because that would be no where would it be riveted though it's, um uh, the trigger guard or the oh, uh, magazine yeah, yeah, release yeah. in this case is okay. riveted okay and then so, and then there's a rivet right here that okay. that holds a feeding um, okay. part in. Okay. okay. So I did it again, didn't I? No problem. Okay. okay. So. But I don't know. It was. I mean, it. If you're mechanically inclined, you mm -hmm. could do it. Okay. But it but it helps to have all the right tools and and experience you. too. Okay. I got you. So it's not impossible. There's or, there's already guys on YouTube building them, but. But the rest of getting the barrel populated with parts was pretty easy. Okay. I've done I've done plenty of that before. So, okay. Um, now, how were the rivets that that came with the kit? Because I didn't even really look to see. They they worked out. Was... They worked out good. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Really everything good. everything was worked out good. I got it done within a. It took me about a, a little over a day to okay. get to get it all built straight. Okay. And then um, and then and then I test fired it and it functioned. It functioned great, and okay. it was just a good overall project. And then, uh, um, and then, Th then I gave it to Thomas, and he uh, he's the one who does he, the he's Cerico. the one who did the Cerico job, and okay. and I think he did a great job. Okay. Um, oh, I do too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did a great job with yeah. it. So, uh, and then he test fired it again after his Cerico job, and it and it and it functions great. Okay. Um, so, I I it makes me want to have one, but <laughs> so. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So no, it's a great project. Yep. And then this pops off. So um, when you're saying just like the AK, I mean internally. So of course it's it's, it's, si it's similar to I would call it like an it's an improved AK design. Yeah, I mean it's it's. You think it's improved? Well, I I feel like the Galil 
design is a is a okay. is probably an improved general AK design. Yes, okay. it's okay. it's heavy duty, and then I I feel like it's an improved AK design. Yes. Okay. Um, and then like the the Galil Ace is the is like the modern version of yes. of the, of this, and this is the old school kind of style. But I feel like it is an improved AK pattern. Okay. Kind of, so. Can, so, is there any way we can pop this open? The, um, it is a little tight. It's tight okay. right now. Okay, yeah. I was gonna, okay. So, so, so it's going to kind of. Yeah. I guess. Um, it, it, this one is, is very tight, and that's actually probably a good thing. Okay. Um, especially because you have a sight that's, you know, the sights are mounted on the dust cover. Okay. On a typical AK, this is loose and loose and floppy. Okay. On this gun, it's. it's it's tight. So I noticed this is it, it protrudes out a little and that, bit more. So I didn't than a it. standard AK, yeah. but that but that on this gun that that's how much it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So and then it's kind of got an amber extra safety and I was looking like there. Yeah. You know, I noticed too, uh, See, I've never shot one before, either, to be honest with you. Okay. So this would be my Yeah, so it's an ambidextrous selector switch. So it might be a little... A little stiff. Yeah. Just got to break it in. Because, because, it'll, because it controls... Yeah. So, oh, I got you. Okay. I got you. I got you. So it, got it's you. it's an ambidextrous okay. system where you. where on the on a standard AK doesn't have that. So, okay. And then, um, yeah. So this is safe, um, semi-auto. They do put the the, the receiver has like the a, yeah. has the has the other um, position, but it's not not relevant on this firearm. So it does not work. <laughs> it does not work. I test fired okay. it. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't work like that. Okay. So we don't need nobody. So what? hand guards are nice and tight on there. Yeah, um, so, man, this kid. It's yeah. The Cerakote is beautiful. It yeah, is. Yeah, no, he did a good job. It is. Oh, this was gonna ask. Was this? Did this come part of the kit too? Because I don't know. Yes. The, the break. Yes. Okay. The, the break was part of it. Yes. Okay. Yep. Even with the mags, it's nice. Man. Yep. Okay. All right. So, if I bring another one up, uh, well, we can try to get it taken care of for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a little okay. bit out of the box project for us, but okay. it, it's, it was okay. no problem. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Sorry if it took a little bit longer than than. Than he expected, but sometimes the out of box projects have to wait a little bit sometimes. So. Okay. So. Well, hey, uh, thank, what's your name again? My name's Lewis. I'm, Lewis one, I'm one of the gunsmiths here. Okay, yeah. and the guy who did the circle is Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Okay, well, yep. thank you for getting on it. I mean, I know it took, I told him initially, I was like, listen, take your time. Yeah. But then after a while, I was like, yeah. man, it's. Well, like, it was like, <laughs> sometimes sometimes the out of box projects have to Just, have to wait a little bit on the side sometimes, but we, we get you. to them, so. I got you. Okay. I appreciate it. Well, yeah. thank you very much, sir. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. So, got another short video, and I hope you guys like the way uh, this Galil rifle looks. I love it. I love it. Very nice. Sarah coat, nice. Everything on there is nice. Um, now it's going to be to the point where I need to shoot it and see how it shoots. Even in front of real sights. Beautiful. I got to look it over more. Um, and I did in uh, shop, but uh, I didn't put it on uh, camera. But um, there's going to be some more videos, of course, of this uh, gun and other guns. The thing of it is now with me and the guns, I used to do a lot of the uh, going to the range, shooting at the range. But now, especially the long guns, I take the long guns out of the city. I'm not, I don't, it go, listen, this gun is going from this location to Sweet Home, Tennessee. I don't leave it in the, uh, Chicago or Illinois. I don't. Mm -mm. So that's why I haven't been doing a lot of the videos at the ranges. So, but a lot of them are coming up, and hopefully I can do uh, a few of them with uh, Paul uh, because he also gets into shooting. And uh, the range is going to be a different type of range, I believe, because uh, I've been told that if I need to shoot any weapons. Um, we got acres and acres where I can shoot them. So once again, hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Um, I thank Roy and Jason both here. Roy is the owner. Jason is, uh, is the manager. Um, I didn't think Roy was going to be here, but he was here. And um, talked to him for a little bit. Didn't put everything on camera. And um, I thank him for kind of like, you know, getting things rolling. You know, they had it for a while and they had other things to do. 
But looking at the final product, I am happy. See the smile? I am happy. Happy, 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 happy. So, until then, as always, be blessed and not stress. And peace.